They come with an unsavoury reputation, often thought of as disease-carrying, city-dwelling vermin. Indeed, Sydney has four species of rat, but what you might be surprised to learn is that two of those species aren't vermin at all. They're native and they're very important to Sydney's ecology. There's the black rat or ship rat, there's the brown rat or sewer rat, but then there's also the rakali or water rat and last but not least the bogle or bush rat. Let's have a look at the differences so that you know how to help out the good guys and make life just that little bit harder for the bad guys. I'm catching up with Peter Banks, who is an Associate Professor, and Dr Gronya Cleary, who is a postdoctoral researcher here at the University of Sydney. Hi guys. Hey. Hi. Now you've done extensive research on rats yes. of Sydney. Can you share some of your knowledge with us today? Yeah. Peter, maybe you could start by telling us about the most familiar face, the black rat. Yeah, the black rat is um, a species that's associated with humans all over the world. Mm. They originated in India, spread across to Europe, and then came to Australia, probably with the first fleet. They're yeah. also called the ship rat, and so they probably have been here as long as, as European settlement. Yeah. They're associated with human settlements. Um, they get into the bush uh, occasionally. In other places, they've been much worse. They're a very distinctive rat. Um, they're not always black. No, that's a big thing. Okay. Yeah, so black that's rat one is thing. not black. That's right. What makes them, what, how you can tell is their long tail. Yeah. It's longer than the body. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's quite, quite thick. thick. That's yeah. right. They've got big ears, yeah. a long, sleek body, but they can be sort of a grey colour, they can be a fawn colour as well. Okay. A and they live in around humans. So what do they eat? eat everything. Yeah, like, like a lot of invasive species, yeah. they eat anything. So okay. Real generalists. garbage, uh, they scavenge, they'll eat insects, plants, um, seeds. Fungi, yeah. small vertebrates, um, they'll climb trees after birds, skinks, everything really that the rat can get. They're, they're sort of great opportunists. And they're really good climbers? Yeah, very that's much That's right, so. that's really what makes them quite distinct and yeah. novel in the Sydney environment at yeah. least. You know, they climb trees, that's why they've got the long tail for, for balance. balance. So okay. they'll climb up into trees and raid birds' nests, they'll get into hollows, uh, after bats as well. So, yeah, the micro bats. Yeah, that's right. So that's really a, a behavioural characteristic that makes them distinct. It sounds like they've had quite an impact on Sydney's ecology. Yeah. We suspect so, yeah, yeah. because elsewhere in the world they're, they're in the 100 worst invasive yeah. species. They've okay. had impacts on birds, particularly on, the, on islands. Yeah. And that's what we think they're doing here. Possibly one reason why we don't see quite as many birds is because of predation by black rats on nests. But they also carry the lungworm, yes. which are, is, has a life cycle, which goes through snails and then through the rat. So the, the, an infected rat there's a poo, <laughs> the mm -hmm. snail comes across that poo and encounters the lungworm, goes into the snail and then the rat eats the snail. snail. Yeah. If a native species like the a tawny, tawny frog, frog mouth, yeah, eats okay. a snail, snail for example, it, it can potentially die. Yeah. Um, ch small children are at risk as well, uh, dogs are at yeah. risk. Um, so the black rat carries this lungworm which is not a good thing for uh, Australia's wildlife definitely. No, not at all. So it's safe to say that the black rat is the baddie in our story, if you like. They're no good for the environment, no good for our native animals, and certainly no good for the human population. What about the brown rat? Is he a baddie too? Yeah, definitely. Um, it also came on ships mm -hmm. yeah. uh, about the same time as the black rat, probably. Um, but uh, it's a really, it's a dangerous species in terms of its impact on wildlife around the world. Yes. It's associated with human, it's also called the sewer rat or the Norway rat. Um, in Australia it really seems to be associated with humans and hasn't gotten into the, the bush, bush so much. Yeah. Around That's Sydney good. there's just yeah. a couple of spots. They're also generalists, they'll also eat anything, but what's different about them is that they're about twice or three times yeah. the size. A very big rat. Yeah, and they're okay. also quite aggressive. aggressive yeah. Um, yeah. They're actually aggressive towards black rats as well, but mm. for some reason, which we don't really understand, they haven't really gotten into the Australian bush all that much, which is a good thing because, for example, in New Zealand or the South Pacific, a lot of species are at risk because of predation brownish. by brown rats. Mm -hmm. So we've got two bad guys in our story, the black rat, and the brown rat. Gronya, Peter, there's got to be some good guys in <laughs> there this story. Are lots of good guys. Yeah, Tell me about the rats. native water rat. Yeah, well, the native water rat is one of um, a whole range of species, native species of rats we have in Australia. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, rats make up, native rats make up 25% of our native mammal fauna. Mm. The water rat is the largest of the, the rats. Uh, it's a semi aquatic 
uh, rat. It's um, probably about three or, three or four times the size of your sort of classic black rat. Yeah. Very distinctive in uh, it being jet black in colour mm -hmm. with a, a thick tail and uh, a, a white, white tip, tip to it, so about the third okay. foot. Uh, is, white, is white. Yeah. You'll see people will see it. It's active during the daytime. It runs along the the shore edge around Sydney Harbour, at least when the tide goes out, yeah. foraging for things that it can scavenge on. It forages on. Again, it it, it, it eats anything. Thing, yeah. yeah but it does go into the sea and forage in there, looking for um, marine invertebrates that it can forage on and brings them back to the shore to eat. Yeah. It's a good guy because it probably attacks black rats anywhere yeah. where you've got a big rat and a small rat. The big the rat wings. Win. Okay. They, they don't like to live together cosily. Yeah. So it's a good guy because it probably does chase away black uh, black rats, which is a good thing. Uh, you'll see water rats around Sydney, uh, lots of places anywhere on the beaches that are there. You've in got, freshwater, sometimes. Yeah, they're actually more typical in freshwater. In, okay. In the, in the middle, in the centre of the sort of. Sort of off the coast, that's where you find them. But around Sydney, you'll find them anywhere with the streams. Actually, yeah, there's potential for water rats yeah. to be there. And is there a behaviour that we're looking for when we want to identify a, a water rat? Mainly the footprints. Actually, yeah, that's the thing. Like because they go into the sea and forage there. If you go along a water, walk along a beach and you see these funny-looking prints, uh -huh. uh, they're quite distinctive because they've got webbed feet. Yeah. Because they fill the same niche as an otter. So they're, they're, right. yeah, they're doing the same sort of thing as an otter does in, in Europe, for example. We don't have otters, we've got water rats. Yeah. So they're doing the same sort of thing. And they leave these very distinctive footprints that people might see. All that white tip to the to tail. To the tail, yeah. Okay. They've got long whiskers and an orange belly. They're lovely, lovely rats. Lovely, rat. lovely rats, yeah. yeah. And they're living in harmony with our native flora and fauna. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess yeah. so. They've co-evolved. So it's quite, whatever predation they do, we assume is, is it's quite okay because they're here and they've co-evolved together. So if the brown rat and the black rat are our baddies, then surely this beautiful water rat, he's got to be our hero. There's another yeah, rat yeah. out there. There's <laughs> another, another good guy. Yeah. There is. We haven't talked about the bush rat. The bush rat, he's not found in Sydney, unfortunately. Um, we okay. think he was here, but he's now locally extinct around the bushland of the harbour. But you do find him in Karingai, in Garigal, in the Royal and in Lane Cove. So he's all around the area, just absent from the harbour bushland. That's right, yeah. Um, he's a good guy because he's a, well, he is a native <laughs> species. Um, he, he's also a generalist, yep. so uh, also preying upon a whole range of different things. Distinctly different look, I yeah, suppose. Yeah. What characterises is, a, is a, a tail that's shorter than the body and it's yeah, also thinner. Ten. Yeah. They've got a more okay. of a rounded nose I yeah. guess, as well. They're, they're less ratty looking. Yeah, they're um, cuter. They are they're much cuter, of course they are. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're a brownie colour. Sometimes they've got a bit of a white belly. belly yeah. Ears aren't quite as big uh, as, it, as in a black rat. They don't climb, which means that birds' nests are um, safe uh, are safe from them. That's they good. don't carry a, a lungworm. Lung they carry a different species which seems not to be um, dangerous to wildlife. So that's a, that's a good yeah. thing. And they're good to have around because quite possibly they they uh, will uh, fight off black rats. Yeah. We've done some research that shows that when the two species generally don't like to coexist, um, that means they don't like to live together. Uh, and the black, the bush rats can certainly uh, hold their own if they're given yeah. the given the, the advantage. advantage. Yeah. So in many places where the black rat hasn't been able to invade, it's probably because there are bush rats sure. there. Yeah. How do we know if we've got a bush rat? in our backyard. Is there a behaviour that we're looking at? You probably don't have them in your backyard. It's okay. probably a black rat. Yeah, because right. they don't like to live in backyards. They're much shyer than yeah. the black rat. Okay. Yeah, they're not out during the day. They're, they're strictly nocturnal. They don't really like to live around where, where humans yes. are. They yeah. live in the bush. They're yeah. the bush rat. So um, people won't are unlikely to have them in their backyards. They can. I don't want to never say never. Never, never say never. But they, it's unlikely that they're there. It'll be different because they won't show those same behaviours of climbing. Yeah. They won't have the big long tail. They won't have the big long ears. But they won't be climbing up and living people's in people's roofs. So we know that being responsible for our rubbish, for reducing it, not leaving it around, is a great way of discouraging those pesky introduced rats. But we want to help the good guys. What what can a Sydney sider like myself do to give these native rats a chance? Well, if you live on the sort of northern part of Sydney, mm -hmm. uh, near the bush, keeping your cat in yeah. is going to do is probably the best thing. 
um, so that it doesn't go wandering in the bush because yeah. those, these native rats are going to be vulnerable to them. Yeah. Uh, around the harbour, again, I, I guess water rats are probably going to be vulnerable to, yeah. to pets as well. There's no bush rats there yet, but uh, keeping your cat in, uh, again, is really going to be probably the main thing that people can do. The, these rats, these native rats, live in the bush. They yeah. don't live in people's houses. So just stopping your animals getting into the bush is probably yeah. the best thing that people can do. Gronya, Peter, thank you so much for sharing your knowledge on no Sydney's worries. rats and helping us understand what kind of impact they have on our environment and our native wildlife. Mm -hmm.